two core beliefs around content work number one that content is the most massive medium of influence out there right it is the most powerful tool of mass influence in the world and and second very important belief was also that if content is king distribution is god mm-hmm. you know uh, you can you can create an amazing movie but if nobody watches it what's the point like it's it's useless so uh, we we strongly believe that the impact of a content is directly proportional to the number of people who consume Welcome to the Startup Operator Podcast. I'm Roshan Karyapa. Imagine you were running a really successful business, doing millions of dollars in revenue, and then one fine day, it went to zero. Would you be able to pick yourself up and start all over again? Well, our guest today is Vinay Singhal, who pivoted from his earlier startup, Vidi Feed, to build Stage, the Netflix for Bharat. Stage is an OTT platform that produces and curates entertaining yet sensible content in local languages and dialects like haryanvi and marwari they have over 75000 paying subscribers in this conversation i spoke to vinay about his journey some of the nuances of building for bharat how to engage and monetize subscribers and what really goes into producing all of that awesome content this was a very inspiring conversation with a young entrepreneur i hope you like it so let's dive into this podcast with vinay singhal Hey Vinay, welcome to the Startup Operator podcast. Thank you so much for making the time. Thank you Roshan for hosting me. Really appreciate this. Uh, I have been a listener of your podcast and uh, looking forward to be a speaker on it now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, your story is really inspiring, right? And uh, especially the founding journey of Stage itself. Uh, I think it was born in very trying circumstances. and uh, it kind of defines the sort of perseverance and innovation uh, uh, that you know exemplifies your founding team right uh, as i understand you were running this thing called vitty feed which was doing fairly well uh, and then one fine day it went to zero due to some externality and uh, and that led to the founding of stage right so why don't you take us through you know what really happened and how did you bounce back Yeah, sure. So, like you said, we were running Bitty Feed back in the day with three co-founders: myself, Shashank, Vishnu, who is my classmate from uh, college, and and more like a brother, frankly speaking. Uh, we've been together for the last twelve years now and building together. And uh, the third co-founder is Praveen Singhal, who is who is actually my younger brother. So, between the three of us, we we've been building together for the last ten, twelve years now, and we built Bitty Feed before this. But if it was going great, it was basically much more like a BuzzFeed built from India for global audiences only. Basically, one fine day we woke up and the company didn't exist. You know, <laughs> I remember twenty sixth of November twenty eighteen was the date. We went, and I very categorically remember we went home, basically talking about uh, closing November as the highest ever grossing month for us in terms of revenue. We did about a million dollars in revenues in that month, wow. and. Uh, Uh, we did our highest ever traffic, which is like 120 million, uh, somewhere around that uh, in that month and all. And we were like, okay, this is cool. We were about to raise a Series A. Two mainstream funds in India uh, were negotiating a Series A term sheet with us and all. So it was all like we were at the peak of everything. And then just like that, you know, you wake up the next day and all of this has been wiped out, right? Uh, so that's that's what happened. All these large companies, Facebook and Google's of the world, essentially. the way they operate is they don't tell you what happened they don't talk to you they don't communicate with you yeah. they essentially pass an order they farman. are the, yeah farman exactly farman jari karte hain right so we basically just received an email saying that fuck off essentially you know that's what happened uh, yaar it was it was a very very tough journey of course pehle 3 mahine to we were in denial you know mm-hmm. we were like are hum witty feed hai hamare sath aise kaise ho sakta hai type mein right you know you were running a really large operation you can't really believe it's very hard to accept that witty feed is gone and for us like i said right out of college we started this so this was like witty feed was the identity that we lived with like there was no other way we knew the world basically or world knew us right so it was very very hard to accept it we went through the entire cycle then february 2019 we were about to run out of money we back we basically ran out of money all the profits that were accrued and all so we did a town hall where uh, the idea was to basically announce the closure of the company and about 90 people in our team attended it and Of course, we said, "Our boss, that's it. It's over. You're in front of us. We've been fighting this fight for three months. We've been this fight and all, right? So this is over. But then, as a founder, you again, you can't believe that this is the climax of your story. I mean, like, ये नहीं हो सकता हमारा plan. You know, there's there's more to it, right? And uh, which is why we made a very impossible effort where we made a pitch to our employees. 
saying that we don't know what we will do from here but if believe in us and you believe ki hum kuch na kuch kar lenge yahan se stick with us we'll pay 25% of your salary the rest 75% we will double it and we'll pay you as an equity in the company so will you become the angel investors and you bail out the company and basically your risk is 6 months we figure out if either we do something from here or we don't but you will know right the idea in our head was ki do char panch log ruk jayenge to depress nahi honge hum right we will have something to look forward to will come to office will do something from here and all right as the luck would have it uh, out of 90 people 54 of them decided to stay back wow and, uh, it was impossible for us to believe that so many people actually wanted to stay back and you know still work with us it was, it was very emotional journey i recorded a full podcast on it actually separately somebody wants to hear to it there's a podcast on spotify on toi i think um, i think it's titled the the fa- the entrepreneur that facebook shut down so something like that pankaj misra has recorded it is a brilliant one i've talked about that journey in like very detailed i'll i'll keep it short here since we are we're supposed to talk about operational stuff more than the the journey but yeah i think that is what uh, gave us the confidence that okay we can do it and we we will build something from here which is how the entire pivot from witty feet to stage started to happen and we started to think think about what to do next and 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 so there's a there's another basically story on how stage were founded but yeah that's that's how it happened it's pretty awesome man i don't know too many people who will kind of recover from something like this right and uh, i was in fact talking to the founder of kuku fm and they went through something like this as well incidentally during the time they were racing their series a their app was just you know at one find it just vanished from the store and you know they had to talk to these people in weird time zones and then there were 12 hour lags between the replies and everything and you know people were showing up at office but without an app in the store right so it's pretty crazy uh, really and i hope that you know the the big tech really reforms uh, their policies and stuff but uh, so what was your thesis after that right i mean what did you learn from that that you wanted to apply to stage yeah so see when something like this happens to you you essentially go back to the basics and ask yourself that why did you start in the first place right uh, and for us even before we built witty feed the two core beliefs around content were number one that content is the most massive medium of influence out there right the most powerful tool of mass influence in the world and and second very important belief was also that if content is king distribution is god mm-hmm. you know uh, you can you can create an amazing movie but if nobody watches it what's the point like it's it's useless mm-hmm. so uh, we we strongly believe that the impact of a content is directly proportional to the number of people who consume it, right both of them were still true so we're like you know there's no reason why we should not be still building a content company we understand this market our beliefs are still in place Uh, and they still hold true so let's do it co- in content itself but one thing that got added as a layer third belief was the fact that we wanted to do it for bharat this time and why because while why even while building witty feed the entire geo movement was unfolding in india and you know we we were all uh, kind of looking at how th- there was entire buzz around next billion and bharat and so on and so forth we always felt that we could do a much better job solving for these audiences reason being because all three of us we grew up in very small villages in different parts of the country hindi medium schooling hui hamari mostly uh, my family still lives in the village uh, in haryana haryana ka ek bahut chota sa gaon hai bhiwani district mein 50 60 ghar hai wahan pe meri family rehti hai i still keep going back there almost every month so this bharat this next billion that people keep talking about i am that audience my family is that bharat right and so we were like we can do a much better job for these audiences right but then you have a large company doing 40 crores in revenue you don't pivot right and when that is going on now we had this option so we like let's do it for bharat this time and we looked at the the content problems that existed in the space the top 5 content companies back in the day were tiktok share chat hello bigo likey and so on and so forth right all of these companies are mostly chinese all of these companies are mostly uh, ugc content platforms and all of these companies also use a huge amount of sexually explicit content as their actual growth hack and so the question that we asked ourselves was that is it the only kind of content bharat wants to consume basically sex sab jagah chalta hai matlab wo us uk canada australia europe africa india har koi dekhta hai to bharat bhi agar dekh raha hai to what's so what's 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 a big deal in it, it it's it's a universal need but the question is that do they want to consume content beyond that and have you tried creating that content for them right and which is when we kind of started to realize that if we could build a premium and sensible content company for bharat it's a complete white space 
and it's a very large opportunity and we will end up doing a you know a really large company if we could uh, really solve this problem at its core so that's that's the thesis behind stage yeah i think you know there was only two options right as i understood i mean there was either the user generated content or i mean you had these platforms that would treat the bharat user as step children right so it was an afterthought right because the the idea was that you know maybe not too profitable uh, and so on and so forth but you know cut to today where we are having the highest uh, i think per capita data consumption at the lowest cost possible right i mean the bharat user has become front and central right uh, to every sort of a product uh, out there since you focus specifically on this bharat user right what are some of the nuances of building for this bharat user so uh, first of all what you said uh, i think you know it's very important to understand that you know ki most of the people who are building for bharat are doing it as an afterthought they just you know they just, they treat them as step children and actually they treat them in a very condescending manner they look at bharat from a very from up here not mm. you know as an equal and and we are all sitting here including me all of us sitting here in our echo chambers in delhi and bombay in our ac offices and we claim to know what bharat wants and how bharat behaves and we are solving from here right but i don't think that's how you can solve for them one of the reasons why i believe we are the right team to build for bharat is because we come from there i grew up in a village i am that audience and you you have to be from bharat to be able to empathize with them in the right manner and then solve for them to be able to think like them right just say, and the, and which is why you know there's so much misconception that exists around these audiences right so for example most of the people uh, when we were building stage and we reached out uh, for funding yeah, otherwise everybody said an awesome concept bahut unique cheez bana rahe ho but uh, nobody will pay for believing that bharat doesn't have the paying capacity infrastructure intent all of that right whereas i for example for one growing up there believe that rural india is richer than the urban india shahar mein aadmi emi pe jeeta hai shahar mein aadmi gaadi ghar sab kuch emi pe khareedta hai gaon mein aadmi aisa nahi karta hmm. they not under debt right and unke aate ke dabbe mein mil jate hain 2 4 5000 rupees problem ye nahi hai ki wo pay nahi karna chahte hain unke paas capacity nahi hai प्रॉब्लम hmm. ये है कि नो बडी हैज क्रिएटेड राइट एंड इनफ वैल्यू फॉर देम एंड लाइक यू सेड कीपिंग देम एट द सेंटर एंड यू नो एक्चुअली बिल्डिंग अ प्रोडक्ट फॉर देम व्हिच रिलेट्स टू देम इन सर्ट ऑफ बिल्डिंग इट एज एन आफ्टर थॉट किसी ने वैल्यू क्रिएट ही नहीं की उनके लिए दे आर ए वेरी वैल्यू कॉन्सियस यूजर वेन यू क्रिएट वैल्यू फॉर देम दे आर मोर देन हैप्पी टू यू नो पे फॉर वट एवर वैल्यू दैट यू क्रिएट फॉर देम सो जैसे भारत में कोई आर टी आर थोड़ी फाइल करता है राइट right? so how do you know ki unke paas paisa hai bhi ki nahi so we actually don't know kitna paisa hai bharat mein right and and like i said again growing up i know for a fact ki uh, it's a very different picture than what we actually portray out here and and, and so on and so forth so so th- so one is that second is you really need to con- so jitne bhi jitne bhi प्लेटफॉर्म्स हैं वो भारत के यूजर्स को अपना डीएयू फार्म मानते हैं है ना वो वो सबको लगता है कि यार जैसे इवन जो 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 वेस्टर्न कंपनीज हैं जो जो अमेरिकन कंपनीज है जो इंडिया में लॉन्च करते हैं एंड एंड देर वेरी फेमस इन्फ्लुएंसर्स इन द स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम ऑल्सो से दैट राइट दैट भारत इज अ डी एयू फार्म और असली पैसा तो बस टॉप टीयर के लिए बनाने में है एंड सो एंड सो बोल राइट Yeah, so go to but, India for uh, go to India for DAO and go to the US for ARPU basically. Yeah, but again, I I have built for US and I I'm building for Bharat and I'm telling you, this is myth. This is not how it works. And जो मैं आपको एक example देता हूँ stage का. We have our minimum ticket size for a subscription on stage is two hundred rupees, right? Which is basically at par with most of the other OTTs uh, who would be building for Bharat. Yeah, subscription point of view, say two hundred rupees. जोमेटो स्विगी शायद यहाँ पे भारत में भी या इंडिया में भी या दिल्ली बॉम्बे में भी चार्ज नहीं करते एंड देन वी हैव 200, 300 एंड 400 रुपीस थ्री प्लान्स 400 रुपीस फॉर एनुअल 200 रुपीस फॉर क्वार्टरली 50 मोर देन 50 परसेंट पीपल एक्चुअली बाय 400 रुपीस प्लान एनुअल प्लान इन ऑफ बाय जब उनके पास दो सौ देने का ऑप्शन है वो चार सौ दे रहे तो अगेन पेइंग इंटेंट पेइंग कैपेसिटी ये सब प्रॉब्लम है नहीं ये सब हमारे दिमाग में हमने अज्यूम कर लिया कि उनके पास पैसे नहीं है वो नहीं लेंगे अगर आपने उनके लिए वैल्यू क्रिएट की है अब यू थिंक for them they will you know uh, give you one more thing that i want to add on this point is that most of the products are done in a top down manner 
है ना जैसे स्पेशली मैं कॉन्टेंट के केस में बात करता हूँ कि बॉम्बे में फिल्म बनती है और वो पूरे देश को देखनी होती है राइट सो दे हैव टू मेक इट इन सच अ वे कि एवरीबडी इन दिस कंट्री इज एबल टू रिलेट टू दैट फिल्म राइट वेर एज आई बिलीव थ्रू भारत प्रोडक्ट विल बी बोटम अप इन अप्रोच द ट्रू डिस्ट्रप्शन विल हैपन वेन विल स्टार्ट टू क्रिएट बोटम अप कंपनीज विच आर कॉन्टेक्सुलाइज फॉर भारत इन देयर ओन लोकल नुआंसेज एंड इन देयर लोकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग विच इज वाई स्टेज इज अ डायलेक्ट बेस्ड कॉन्टेंट प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज अ वेरी हाइपर लोकल बाय द नेचर ऑफ इट राइट एंड सो there is a local cultural context there is a local dialect uh, of the the way you speak it the language itself etc etc and which is why you know um, bottom up companies is what we we should be building uh, for bharat and not top down companies right yeah i think um, we have at, at least progressed from the very bombay centric view to you know now looking at the hinterlands right i mean you have like a pankaj tripathi type of trope running in most of the films right so what goes into creating an ott platform you know um, uh, so you work with different artists you onboard creators and then they produce content and then you obviously help them with distribution monetization and so on and so forth right so what goes into bringing all of this together i mean for us it was not even we we went out to build a netflix for bharat and like build a ott platform but what we actually realized when we went into the market was that just for example we are in haryanvi right now haryanvi doesn't have a film industry there is no film web series that was made before us and so we actually had to jump start an entire local bollywood in haryan for us it was not about then the the problem statement was not about building an ott because that's actually fairly simple you know there are lot of off the shelf otts available if you want to use one we not that we did it we we, we built our tech also from scratch but that also not a rocket science that also is not a rocket science right you can build at the end of the end of the day it's an app and you put videos there and people consume it and all but there's a much more deeper level problem that you don't even have a production house who is going to make a web series for you then what do you do so we had to jump start an entire local bollywood we brought together these artists you know uh, incubated them as production houses uh, mentored them funded them gave them their first projects zindagi ki pehli web series banayi unhone hamare sath milke and uh, it has been a brilliant journey to be able to do that today uh, haryana has a very flourishing industry entertainment industry there are more than 25 30 production houses which idea which which are pitching ideas to us on a day to day basis uh, scripts etc they are pitching to be working with us we are producing about 20 to 25 originals every year locally more than 2000 people have regular work and jobs because of what stage has been able to create as a local industry in haryana we very fondly call it harleywood now there's hollywood there's bollywood and haryana now where it's on harleywood yeah and and it, it is probably the most satisfying part of this job uh, to be honest you know to be able to provide jobs and real impact uh, on ground you wouldn't believe that we have seen a lot of reverse migration happening from bombay bhai ho to kya tha pehle if there is a haryanvi who wants to work in entertainment industry the only places to go to bombay and struggle right now we have a local platform we have a local uh, industry flourishing so all the people who are struggling there they are coming back to haryana and important is wo yahan local aate hai to izzat bhi zyada milti hai but bombay return hai isko zyada aata hai right and uh, they're coming back and they're making projects for us so it's a it's a brilliant uh, thing that is happening uh, uh, because of what we be able to do so we build this local uh, bollywood and then on the top of that of course uh, build the ott it took us a lot of time teen teen part mein problem thi actually पहले ये प्रूव करना था कि देर इज अ डिमांड फॉर डायलेक्ट बेस्ड कॉन्टेंट देन वी हैड टू बेसिकली सॉल्व फॉर द राइट काइंड ऑफ सप्लाई फॉर द राइट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट फॉर दिस डिमांड दैट एक्सिस्टेड एंड देन वी हैड टू प्रूव फाइनली दैट देर आर पीपल हुर गोइंग टू बी इंटरेस्टेड टू पे फॉर दिस राइट एंड सो वी बेसिकली टू किट इन सिमिलर मैनर वी फर्स्ट वेंट आफ्टर प्रूविंग द डिमांड देन वी सॉल्व फॉर द सप्लाई एंड देन लास्ट ईयर वी वेन वी न्यू दैट डिमांड एंड सप्लाई आर सॉर्टेड वी बेसिकली वेंट आफ्टर द मोनिटाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम एंड Uh, very very proud to say that uh, we are probably one of the very first apps in india who been able to monetize bharat really well and on a subscription and you know in at, at such a local hyper local uh, scale now yeah fantastic i mean what you have i think 60000 plus uh, paying subscribers right probably 75, more now, now. Wow. 75000 now we are adding about 1000 subscribers on daily basis amazing really amazing story so in terms of content right one of the things that we hear often is that content is not scalable nobody really knows what works what doesn't work and everything is like basically i mean you're putting it out there and it's a long iteration cycle uh, it's quite difficult to understand right i mean on that front have you been able to come up with some kind of a template framework 
uh, to figure out you know what really works with your audience number one i think people blow it out of proportion uh, especially because of the fact that in entertainment industry has been very centralized in in the way it has evolved oh, oh, historically right and which meant that people controlled it in terms of the money that it it, it is required to build a movie and and, and so on and so forth uh, one of the benefits of we being able to build our own local bollywood is that uh, we pay for the talent and not for the celebrity which is why we are able to create it out on a very very low cost basis so we are able to create it on a mass scale as well like you can do many more experiments than agar 2 4 crore rupees lagenge ek film banane mein then you can only do limited experiments but if the, if you can do the same at under a few lakh rupees uh you know probably 15 20 lakh rupees then the entire story changes accordingly right second thing that we realized was that uh talent is universal opportunity is not there is more than enough people available locally if you give them opportunity they will do a uh, brilliant work for you so whatever content stage creates we are involved we we are not involved in the execution at all all the content that we have is done in an outsourced manner so mm-hmm. just like a typical ott we basically only are involved in the curation of the script and budgeting and then everything happens on the we have been able to empower these production houses in a way that they do it on their own end to end and final content piece mein milta hai uska third uh, layer to it is that we are nowhere near to supplying enough for the demand that exists in the market on the basis of dialects haryanvi content ki demand itni zyada hai ki hum kitna bhi content banate hain abhi it is not enough what is happening because of that is that whatever we are making it just works to so, hamara jo hamara jo uh, risk of jo aap bol rahe ho ki tent pole content hote hain and you don't know what will be hit and what will be not thankfully we have that that risk is reduced to a large extent hmm. right because in market mein haryanvi content hi nahi hai and there is no other competition who is doing what we are doing it allows us to create uh, like make mistakes actually uh, and and we will be make, we are making a lot of mistakes because like i said we are making an entire industry from scratch pehli baar haryanvi mein industry ban rahi kisi ko pata hi nahi kaise hota hai sir right but the audience has been kind enough to kind of accept and ignore those mistakes as part of the process of building an entire industry because they understand that yaar haryanvi mein mil to raha hai content pehle to tha hi nahi type mein right so so uh, like i said demand itni zyada hai ki supply abhi uske aas paas mein bhi nahi hai so i think we will enjoy this for a next couple of years and by the time hopefully all of us will learn more and more and we will know what to create and what not to create uh, and and so on and so forth there is one more angle to it like since you were, since you asked about do we have a strategy to it and all the way we understand see on ott is a new content piece is like a it, it's a, it's your advertisement basically it's your advertisement material it's your promo you you launch a new web series you will bring out 10 15 promos out of it and use it as a subscription ad to drive more new subscriptions right which means your new content is your entry in a new household in a new uh, household right so then what we did was we have basically divided entire haryana into different cohorts and then we say ki कौन से घर में एंट्री लेने के लिए कौन से टाइप का कंटेंट बनाना पड़ा सो बेसिकली होता क्या है यू यू साइन अप एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अ प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ वन कंटेंट बट देन यू वॉच एवरीथिंग एल्स सो यू हैव टू फाइंड कंटेंट व्हिच विल अलाउ मी टू अक्वायर अ सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ यूजर बिकॉज एक बार अक्वायर हुए तो दे विल वॉच एवरीथिंग एल्स ऑन दी एप राइट सो वी हैव मेड दिस कोवर्ड जैसे हरियाणा में ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थर्ड हाउस होल्ड हैज अर्मी पर्सन तो अगर हम आर्मी पे कोई कॉन्टेंट बनाएंगे तो चलेगा ही चलेगा राइट right? तो वो उस घर में घुसा देगा Uh, जैसे हरियाणा में कावड़ यात्रा होती है देर इज नो हाउस होल्ड दैट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ इन हरियाणा दैट आई नो जिसके घर में कावड़ नहीं लेके आया कोई कभी हरिद्वार जाके आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द कावड़ यात्रा कॉन्सेप्ट राइट या पीपल बेसिकली टेक गंगा जल फ्रॉम हरिद्वार एंड दे गो टू देर लोकल विलेजेज ऑन फुट एंड वो गंगा जल बेसिकली चढ़ाते हैं राइट सो इट हैपन्स लाइक एवरी हाउस होल्ड डज इट लाइक कोई ना कोई है घर में जिसने किया है ऐसा and if you can create a film out of it or a web series out of it people are going to love it like that's the religious content you can create for haryanvi community right so aise karke humne bahut sare alag alag cohorts banaye hue hain and uh, uh, we creating content on those cohorts and each of these cohorts basically allows us to acquire a new set of audiences on the platform amazing what's also like really impressive is that you're building this truly bottom up right i mean you're you're producing your original series yourself and stuff right so which is pretty amazing you know you spoke about all these artists and creators and now they have this amazing platform for them to showcase their skills and everything right 
what has your experience been working with these folks i mean because one thing i understand is that the amount of talent that we have in tier 2 tier 3 and outside of the metros is just staggering you know i mean uh, at least uh, from the whole share chat tiktok experience one thing that uh, everyone got to know is the amount of talent that's there outside of cities right so when you speak to these folks i mean um, what is your experience like like i said answering earlier also in in, in one of the questions is that the most satisfying part of this job is that we've been able to create employment for 2000 people in haryana because of what we've done right and all of these are artists of different kinds some of them are actors some of them are writers koi uh, kisi web series ki crew mein hai you know so somebody is cameraman dop you know side actors theater artists and so on and so forth right and all of them are being getting work being paid they getting to showcase their work etc this is one of the most humbling experiences when you speak to these guys you realize how much talent exists across this country uh, and and how much of this talent just gets wasted because uh, because they didn't get the enough opportunity one thing that is at the core of uh, stage when we were building it from very initially we 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 put it at the center of building the platform was that we realized yaar ki if kalakar ko kala se paisa nahi milega to kabhi kala aage nahi badhegi if if the art doesn't pay for the bills for the artists the art will never go forward because what will happen artist will have to find a way to pay for his bills right and so he, so they will have to find a job and and then they will go and do some sarkari job or they will go and do some something else they will start a shop they will start something or the other right they will they will have to find a way for living we have always believed in the fact that yaar you have to empower the artists enough that they can make a living out of their art form and that's the only way to flourish an industry flourish these artists flourish these art forms in the local cultures and and so on and so forth. and that's that's something that we truly believe in at at the core at stage and and have tried to uh, live by in the three years that we've been there right uh, so i'm going to come back to something that you mentioned earlier which is you know con- if content is king then distribution is god right how are you solving for distribution uh, per se right i mean how are people finding you i know i mean your content as you mentioned you know is is fairly viral at this point of time there's a huge demand for it but other than that i mean uh, what are some ways you are getting the word out there right because also yours is entirely app driven as well if i understand correctly right yeah i mean so app discovery things to that effect right and solving for those things if you could talk about all of these things yeah so see like you said our content is our biggest advertisement uh, our biggest marketing material right if you like our content you will come and find us no matter what right so for us the idea is to create great content and like i said wo cohort based strategy hai there are certain type of users that we have identified that we want to attack through you know different content that is relatable to them and so on and so forth from platforms point of view on digital the only way to reach out to people at scale is google and facebook so primarily those have been the ways to market for us stage but we've been looking for ways beyond this where uh, one experiment that we done and have been very successful for us is the experiment around cod so uh, we, we are one of the very few or one of the very first ott platforms in india to be able to offer uh, subscriptions on cod aap address batao hum aapke ghar aake paise lete jayenge and uh, that helped a lot not because people didn't have digital ways to make the payment but cod solves for trust you know uh, and so so we did that we are exploring partnerships with different platforms uh, we we want to make stage recharge card available on every retail store out there in haryana or everywhere else those are good. so we we are exploring a lot of offline ways to reach out to users but but online digitally so typically google facebook these are the platforms where most of it happens uh, yeah so okay. that's that's what is happening so reach and engagement is one thing but you know monetization is a whole other beast altogether right and one of the things that you did i think which was which is probably a very very difficult uh, decision is to be paid only right i mean you decided sometime during the pandemic that you will go only paid and uh, <laughs> just talk us through you know that decision making right i mean did you think for a second that you know hey what if my users drop off and uh, and so on and so forth and what has that experience been like what has worked what has not worked so one angle to it is that on day 0 when we were envisioning stage the idea was to build a premium and sensible content company for bharat right so premium was right the right there as the word one of what we wanted to build 
We designed the app to be very premium. We always, on day zero, we knew that we're building for a subscription product and not an ad-driven company. We're very sure about that. And I'm saying this because we have already built an ad-driven business earlier. Uh, if it was an ad-driven business. And we know the dynamics of that business so well that we didn't want to do it again. We didn't want to build an ad-driven business. So, so that was one. The second was contrary to popular belief, we always believed that people in Bharat will pay if you create enough value. So that's not an issue like that. The primary reason why we launched in April was actually other than these two, which was that in, I think, uh, January last year, we spoke to most of the VCs in the country. And uh, and again, yaar, unki galti nahi hai. Uh, I think uh, uh, that's how it is. That, that's what everybody thought. Ke, Bharat mein koi pay nahi everybody that we spoke to said, amazing product, brilliant company, very unique thesis, but nobody will pay for it. And by April, we were anyways uh, about to run out of runway. We January mein paanche mahine ke paise bache the. So, and, and everybody was rejecting ye, wo, sab, uh, uh, so we were like, it's a do or die. Karke dekh lete. Ya to log paise denge ya nahi denge. Anyway, right? whichever way we'll know. Right? Either they will pay or they will not. If we genuinely believe we have done a good job creating the right value for these audiences, they will pay. You know, why not? And, and which is how in April 2021, uh, we basically decided to launch. We went from fully free to fully paid because our library total 80 ghante ki thi. April May. Like what, how do you decide what is to be free and what is not, right? So we're like, yeah, if you genuinely have done a good job, let's see if people are ready to pay for to, to access the product that we have built, right? And we we were doing about 300, 350,000 MAUs back in the day. I think, I think around 300,000 MAUs. And basically we went fully paid. Uh, the response by God has been kind that way. It has been really phenomenal. The people have given us more love than we probably asked for and deserve. And, and like I said, in last uh, nine months, we are at about 75,000 paying subscribers. Amazing. We've grown at 7x in last six months. Nobody thought, well, even hum, we thought people will pay, but we also didn't think that we will grow this fast. Well, the, the speed at which we are growing right now, even we had not envisioned to be growing at this speed, uh, to be honest. So this has been a quite a discovery for us as well. So a slight tangent in terms of, you know, how you're running the business itself and um, uh, how your whole Witty Feed experience uh, has influenced you, right? I see that, you know, you are focused on profitability, for example, uh, you're focused on building premium stuff and all of that, right? I mean, I, I won't say that is, um, that is unique. I mean, there are, of course, there are people who are thinking that way, but it's not the conventional, you know, go for uh, broke, uh, pay it all over and then get users and then we'll figure monetization kind of an approach, right? O- although, I mean, there isn't too much of that these days also, I feel, right? So can you talk about, you know, how you think about the business itself? Uh, like, how do you see the business going forward? Yeah, I mean, uh, see, even at Witty Feed, we were a bootstrapped, profitable, a bit of positive company. And this is, I'm talking about 2014, 15, in those days, Profitability to chodo revenue ke mein bhi baat nahi karte de, right? Yeah. No, I think as founders, our DNA is very revenue first, to be honest. I don't know it's a good thing or a bad thing that only time will tell. Company mein, agar customer paisa nahi de raha, apke product ka, to ko, uh, I start to feel very jittery about it. You know, it's very hard for me to build a burn driven business. I want to I, and and I believe in building sustainable businesses. I believe in building businesses for the long term and uh, uh, in the short term, they may require to burn. We are burning right now. So I'm not going to sound uh, hypocritical about it. Uh, I, I, I want to be very clear about it. Yes. So, so in the short term, you may need to burn, but you, you should always be solving for long term sustainability of the business. And, uh, uh, and like I said, jada din revenue nahi hota hai company mein to anxiety hone lagti hai mujhe to. Which is how, you know, we're building it. We, the, the way we are thinking about the business is uh, since we're a dialect based funding company and each dialect is an independent market. We are looking uh, at the entire business in a dialect basis sort of a manner. Like a, a one dialect is a unit economics. Like we want to ensure that dialect unit economics works on a dialect level for us. Right. And so at stage, uh, we, instead of unit economics, we, uh, we have something called steady state revenue, like how does, when we reach a certain number of paying subscribers, 
in steady state how does that business look like at at what stage we become you know operationally break even and then profitable from there on much like does this business start to make money at some point so the way ott businesses work is that ki aapka subscriber ek hai ya ek crore hai the investment and content is same hmm. it doesn't change a lot right it doesn't so more supply doesn't mean more demand and more demand doesn't mean more supply you know you have a certain supply and if you do a good job at it doesn't matter what the demand is the same supply basically uh, becomes enough for everybody right on, basically on, one person is going to see the same amount of content as another person right it's on average it kind yes, of works out the same, same content can be seen by like see the problem with ugc is that if you don't churn out a few million videos every day you will your your algorithm wouldn't know what to show me right whereas in case of pgc even if i do one really good original every month Hmm. it is going to be enough for all my users to watch it and feel that i get enough value out of this product right so which is how like i said in steady state for example we the way we think about it is that a million paying subscribers we will be doing at least 50 crores in annual revenues in a particular dialect and the maximum that we need to spend is about 15 crores to run a dialect so it's a very highly profitable business in that steady state so the then then the the idea becomes all about getting to that 1 million paying subscriber how do you get to a million paying subscriber in india at that it's a cash machine mm. this business is a cash machine this so that's that's what we are looking to get to right so what are your plans for the future uh, looking like you know for the next couple of years or so you mentioned adding new new dialects new catalogs etc right uh, anything else on that front i think we are at a uh, very sweet spot in terms of growth so both horizontal and vertical uh, will happen we will start to go deep in haryana and like i said uh, our target is to get to about a million paying subscribers by early next year so march 2023 hopefully we'll we'll get to about a million paying subscribers in haryana and then we'll also start launching new dialects this year so marwadi slash rajasthani and then uh, bhojpuri mathili magai bundeli these are the next four five dialects that we'll be launching hopefully this year itself it's a function of when do we raise our next round but yeah we'll we'll be doing it right so right so as a founder you have to kind of evolve yourself for every next leap that the business has to take right the next milestone that you have to meet what are some things that you are personally working on at this point of time we are i mean you know hota kya hai ki so every time i look back at myself for a couple of months ago we have this internal thing between the founders ki we, we basically look back at ourselves couple of months ago a quarter ago let's say and if you don't feel like an idiot that that ki kya yaar main kaise ki, kis level ka gadha tha bis ki if I, if i don't feel like that then i probably haven't grown enough in this period right so constantly you know learning new ways new things uh, to build companies witty feed was a listicle website uh, text based content from there switching to fully video uh, based technology like like content platform from a website uh, witty feed was fully web web driven product stage is a fully app driven product and and so many more complications on the top of it right like i said we had no idea how to build a bollywood we had no idea how to build an ott that way and all but it has been you know a learning uh, uh, curve for us as well but thankfully we've been able to do it. so constantly you know finding new challenges and new ways to uh, keep doing it uh, yeah so that's that's where we are so one of the questions we ask almost all the entrepreneurs who are on the podcast is you know what are some unique insights about the domain or the space that you operate in that is invisible to people who are not in the space right so um, if somebody wants to build a content business right uh, let's say another ott platform what are some nuances of operating in the space that he or she must know one insight on which we built the company unique insight which i don't think anybody in the country has right now and which is probably why there is no other ott which does dialect based content is that in india language is an urban concept the moment you move beyond urban settlements everybody speaks a dialect nobody speaks a language hum shaharon mein in the cities we have people migrating from all over the place right so when you are in a delhi people from haryana rajasthan up bihar mp everywhere or even south are coming so you need a common ground to be able to talk to each other which is where english becomes uh, hindi becomes handy you know so you speak hindi but you go 20 km inside gurgaon you will not find anyone who speaks hindi at all like you will literally have to find someone who can speak clean hindi 
because i grew up there and it's a matter of pride there yeah? my mother tongue is haryanvi not hindi you know and in a very similar manner rajasthan people speak marwadi you go to up people speak braj bundeli of the bhojpuri kannoji and so on and so forth right so so yeah so if you are truly building for bharat and especially around content i would really request you to think about dialects and not just languages uh, as one thing and the other is around what i said rural india is richer than urban india if you know this you will act very differently in building a country awesome what are some books or podcasts that you would recommend to our listeners yeah i mean um, uh, i was about to say this uh, when you asked what are what is that you are learning these days and then i kind of held back and said like let me answer it when you ask about those books thing so there's one book that has changed our company literally in last 3 months uh, that is no rules rules so by reed hasting and uh, what is the other author of it elisa nayar aisa kuch naam hai sorry if i'm misquoting the name so it's basically netflix this culture uh, written out there uh, and the base concept is that all people management ever done has been done from a perspective of an industrial workforce labor management you know we don't have ways we don't have th- you know we don't have material on how do you manage creative people you know and uh, netflix has built it from scratch and uh, we've been heavily influenced by it big big fan of it and uh, literally copy pasting their entire culture you know into a uh, stage and it has changed the way we think as founders it has changed the way our company thinks about everything you know radical candor talent density and no vacation policy some of these things are just brilliant you know and and so counter intuitive actually when you think about them uh, but but it has been phenomenal no rules we we literally have made it part of our onboarding process everyone in the team gets no rules rules and they have to read it and uh, and and so on and so forth it's a brilliant book uh, if you haven't read please read uh, is what i would recommend Yeah, I'm waiting to read my copy. So, hey, this was hey, a fascinating. Send me your copy. Send me your address. I'll send you a copy. No, no, I have a copy. It's just that I mean, it's stacked below <laughs> the four other books that I have to read. In you know, so okay. hey, this was a fascinating conversation, man. I mean, I think you know this kind of product and this kind of market and user is something that you know we're not all very familiar with, and any kind of content, wisdom, insights around this is truly beneficial to the. startup community at large uh, so thank you so much for taking time out to really talk about your journey i mean i think it's super inspiring thank you so much thank you roshan again and uh, loved it great conversation awesome before we leave uh, do you want to plug anything of course of course i mean everyone should go and check out uh, stage.in but what else of course just go <laughs> if you are haryanvi or you understand haryanvi you are in for a treat go download stage subscribe you want to love it you will message me and thank me for building it so please do that awesome yeah thanks so much vinay thank you have a great day thank you so much for listening if you liked this episode then don't forget to subscribe to us on your favorite platform and share this episode with all of your fellow startup operators also follow the startup operator on linkedin and twitter for more updates stay safe take care and see you soon on a brand new episode of the startup operator